He was racing for the class team, although the team was going through a difficult period. And the following year, Tony and some, uh, some of the other really strong athletes were going to find themselves out of a job. I rang Quincy immediately and he told me to seize the opportunity and to sign up the cyclist right away. Fate almost seemed to take a hand and so from that group the successful Mapei team was born. It was 1994. We started off with a master frame and then we made the master in carbon called the C40. In 1994, Rominga set the new hour record with a Colnago bike. Over the last 50 years of prestigious work, we have mentioned a number of champions, but can you give the names of three cyclists who you will always have fond memories of? Perhaps there are more than three. I'd say Gianni Motta, Baron Kelly and Saroni. I love to take boys in needs of help under my wing. For 20 years, I gave away 30 bicycles every year to the Soviet Union and they won races all over the world, from the Olympics to the Tour del Avenire. One day, one of the boys competing in the Juniors World Championships in Bergamo came by. He was young. He raced with a Colnago bike, and they had given him a bike which was too big for him. My brother wanted to change the frame for him. It was a Friday when we met, and on the Sunday, this boy won the World Championship in Staccata. He was called Tonkov. I did everything I could to get him over to Italy so that he could race for us, and he became one of our children. I helped a lot of boys reach professional level around 30. Boys from former Eastern Germany, Ludovic, Abdu Japarov, or Popovic. This has made me very proud, and I'm sure he'll continue to do so in the future. His nickname is Popo. In 2003, you celebrated 50 years in the business. Don't remind me. <laughs> 50 years is a long time and I'd rather forget sometimes because I feel that somewhere inside I've still got a lot of ideas. For our 50th anniversary, we made a bicycle called Aniversario. We originally thought of making just 500, but we've sold more than twice that. Anyway, our clients have given us so much satisfaction, but so have all the athletes who have believed in us. Your bicycles are synonymous with class and the very highest quality, a dream for everyone, but they have a fairly high quality price ratio. You see, the, the ordinary things in the world are made by everybody, whereas few people make outstanding ones. And it's also difficult to stay at the top. We've always given our very best, but perhaps we are the only ones who have invested in research, and we've never stopped. You've given a bicycle to both Champi and the Pope. Tell me something about that. Well, I think that's reaching the height of your professional career. Giving a bicycle to the Pope, to Champi, to important actors, to enthusiasts, to big businessmen. But also to young people who haven't got a penny, maybe even lending a second-hand one for races. It's just something I feel inside, something natural. Everything else just follows. You still play a very important role in the professional world. How many teams do you manage? We've got six teams, two Pro Tour teams, Rabobank and Milram, Panaria 
Navigator in the USA, one in Poland, and Nippon in Japan. The Panari achieves a lot of wins that other teams are needed for the work we do and to give young athletes a helping hand. Okay, but the Ernesto Colnago success story looks set to continue. The future of the business is also safeguarded by the rest of the family. With, er with Ernesto still very much at the helm. Ernesto Colnago, an example of Italian ingenuity and creative imagination exported all over the world.